everybody to the Chicago Bears Fan Show. I'm James, coming at you following a tough loss to the New Orleans Saints in Week 5. Uh, you know, this was a game where, unfortunately, things just didn't go uh, as we'd hoped, but they weren't incredibly surprising to some degree. Drew Brees was Drew Brees. He was great. Uh, Jimmy Graham was a mismatch nightmare, as we feared he could be and we've seen him be against other teams. And unfortunately, our offense um, didn't step up and execute early on when it needed to. So here's some of the big things I'm seeing right now that are uh, concerning, disappointing me. And then we'll talk about some, some highlights. First off, we're coming out so slow in these games. It's, it's awful. I don't think we've had a game this year where we've started out uh, with a, a real significant lead. Um, and then, you know, been able to hold that lead. So... We haven't had a nice game where we just kind of started strong and cruised through. Uh, we're, we're, we seem to be playing from behind all the time now against these good teams. And it, it's disturbing because once you get in that place, it's hard to be able to run the ball consistent, consistently and use Forte. And then you put Jay in situations that you don't want to see him in. So yeah, that's a real disappointment. Now, i got to say, you know, even though Jay didn't play badly, he did still make some mistakes, I think, under pressure. Holding the ball too long and, and the fumble, and it just, those kind of things kill you. Um, as well, he, he may have got away with a couple of bad throws too, but overall he wasn't terrible. Um, the main, one of the big things we had problems with this game was the blocking, our scheming. We got out-schemed this game. Um, we got out-schemed actually on both sides of the ball. On the offensive line, um, we had... No answer for their blitz packages. And it's not surprising that Rob Ryan's going to blitz. He's, you know, that's going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't, weren't ready for it most of the time, and uh, we got burned. And then, on the other side, uh, we got a scheme in the sense that they were able to take Jimmy Graham to the middle of the field, and we weren't able to pick him up, uh, do, do the things we need to in terms of double coverage and mixing coverages and confusing Drew Brees. That didn't happen. And also, getting pressure. We didn't respond. I... I'm starting to really get concerned about Mel Tucker and his ability to control this defense, command this defense, because I'm seeing players make great plays. I think our top players are playing like top players, but right now we're getting out schemed and we're not answering. We're not bringing extra pressure when we're not getting pressure on the quarterback. And Drew Brees had luxurious amounts of time in the first half to sit back there, survey the field, and make all kinds of plays. You can't let that happen. You can't allow a player like that to have that kind of time. You've got to put him under duress. Uh, and then finally, you know, dumb mistakes. The things that normally we don't do that much, you know. We, uh, the worst one was Lance Briggs taking a, um, you know, an offside penalty there on what was pretty clearly a play that Drew Brees was only trying to get an offside penalty, was not going to run a fourth and one play. So, you know, just dumb mistakes like that and, and uh, it, it's it's uncharacteristic uh, for smart players like him to, to make, and it's it's unfortunate at this point in the in the season. And uh, you know, while Jay's numbers look good at the end of the game, and he had a good quarterback rating and whatnot, it's it's just he didn't have a great game. I felt, I, I, especially early on when it counted, and we got too down too far early. Uh, so it was tough coming back from there. On the positive side, I gotta say. Alshon Jeffrey is looking outstanding right now. He is looking like a man amongst boys, and he goes up for the ball amongst a lot of those defensive backs. So uh, that's a very encouraging sign and, and something we've needed. Um, talked about before, you know, taking some of the pressure off Brandon Marshall. He's doing it. He's doing his part and then some right now, uh, you know. So props to him. I think he was one of the highlights of this game right now. Uh, and I think we're going to continue to see him progress through the year. Uh, excited to see him play the way he's playing. So that's a really positive sign. Uh, you know, I think some of the defensive players just played very well. Uh, solid games, you know, for what they, they had to do. Uh, I think the cornerbacks playing very well. Tim Jennings and, and Chris Tillman for the most part. You know, and even though Tillman, uh, Charles Tillman's been injured, uh, he's stepping up and really getting through it. And uh, he's being a true Chicago Bear right now. And uh, you got to appreciate that. Uh, Peppers is doing what he can, I think, right now. Generating as much pressure as he can. I think he's... He's had a good comeback the last few games, but he's getting no help right now, and they're not blitzing, bringing extra guys and allowing some of the pressure to come off him in blocking. So it's, it's not helping him. So anyways, uh, next video, 
Uh, we're going to look to the matchup against the Giants coming up this Thursday in what is becoming almost a must-win game for us right now, going down 3-2 in a tough division with the Lions and Packers both uh, playing pretty well so far this year. Uh, where We're in a tough spot, and we need this game. It's a short week this Thursday against the Giants. Watch my next video. And, of course, bear down.